I call this one bittersweet beginnings. Good morning. Bad morning. Every morning. And with that warning, it's love that I'm mourning. He embedded a void within me, and I just want to be free. I mean, I just want to put my mind at ease, but I can't. I've surrendered my heart to a bitter disease. I didn't know I had to give up my damn peace for love, but the peace of mom, and I've lost my genius in love, become in denial and blind by love, slipped up and misplaced my worth in this full-letter word. To think I was ever stupid, silly, and empowered by what love has blurred, feeling weak and betrayed and dismayed because of my heart's downgrade. All for love, I suffered this bitter disease. Tears aren't falling from my eyes, but I'm honestly dying inside. Black, purple, blue, brutally damaged inside. From the shit I've withheld in order to protect my pride. Under my appearance, I'm fencing my thought clearance. My heart is damaged and crowded with too much to manage. I can no longer hide. I'm publishing my emotions worldwide. Praying that maybe the pain will subside and not amplify. I'm openly waiting on my heart to comply. But when I close my eyes, my thoughts continuously multiply. To the very beginning, our beginning, when attraction quickly assumed the form of lust, emerging into way more than what the hell we discussed. So why cop out and I throw you shade like, look, I just need an ounce of space because I tried this shit before and quite frankly, I landed on my face. So of course, hurt is a familiar place that I can ever so diligently comprehend. For you pronounced the hurt wasn't becoming of our lovers and friends. I replied, love is a place of pain and uncertainty that I already understand. But you promised me unhealthy love wasn't what you had planned. As stubborn as I am, I answered back once again. Life is an uphill battle that I have to conquer. But you said my thought was incompetent because I needed you as my life partner. That was sweet. But quite frankly, your actions have your words beat. Mentally, you were never here nor there. Vaguely, you witnessed my pain, so how'd you immediately portray me as insane? Caught in the crossfire, I used you as a soother. Better yet, my pacifier. Because I was already battling destruction, so it was all or nothing. The clock doesn't stop ticking, even when my heart and my ego are nitpicking. I could have pretended certain things didn't bother me, but I'm too damn old to play make-believe. Remember when you lied and I cried? Presently, I'm gone because of your wrongs. And this time, my mind's made up. I quit. This isn't where my heart belongs. I'm stuck in my old ways, reassured in my own days, where silence is my loudest cry. And I can't tell you why, because this is goodbye.